I mean, I think, and I've said this much, I think every fighter is only as good as their last fight. So, hey, so it happens I lose, I mean, right? That, that's part of the sport. Um, if I come back and I have a great performance the next time, my stock goes right back up. And that's kind of, if you look at, if you look at mixed martial arts, and, and it's even, it's more mixed martial arts than any sport, but a lot of people, Robbie, Robbie hurt himself and he lost to RD in the same fight, and they think Robbie's stock dropped like that, you know? And it's like, if he has a great fight against me, his stock's gonna go straight back up, and that's just how, that's how this sport is. You're as good as your last fight, it's, it's like this. I'm not gonna sit here and say, I'm the best wrestler in the world. No, I'm honest with myself, and I think that's what you need to grow. That's what you need to become a champion. I'm honest with myself. I know I'm not the best striker in the world. I know I'm not the best grappler in the world. I know I'm not the best wrestler in the world, but to mix it up right now, I'm better than him for sure. So we'll find out Saturday night. Did this fight get personal at all for you, man? That press conference was something else. I mean, we thought Kobe was the rivalry fight. Did this, did this get personal at all? No, I didn't get personal. I'm just, you know, I just can't let him just sit there and, and, and talk shit and not believe it. Like, come on, man. You don't even sound confident. You don't sound like you believe it. And this entire time, it's been one person talking. And the person that's the confident one, the person that's shown it, look at our resume, look at our highlight reel. You watch the, you watch the teaser for the fight. You watch him throw the same one-two combination against the jiu-jitsu guy. You don't see anybody else getting dropped down from him. On my, you might see Kasha, you might see Carlos Kanye, you might see Robbie Lawler. These guys have a, you know, a reputation of being either durable, of being in wars, of being champions, and being some of the best warriors of all time. And they've all fought victims to the right hand. So, um, I don't have to talk, I just got to go out and do it. At the very beginning, when people doubt you, you start to wonder if they're, if it's true. Like, am I really supposed to be here? You know, and, and then as you start proving everyone else wrong, you're proving, your, you're proving yourself wrong at the beginning. And now I just, I just believe in myself because I've been through so many terrible situations. And I've worked through those and, and I've come back on the other side of them. And I just know that no matter where, what position I'm in, what, who I'm fighting, where I'm fighting, what the situation is, no matter what it is, I'll find a way out. I always will find a way out. I'm there to fight whoever the fans think is the most deserving. And Anthony has done a great job putting himself in this position. And, you know, I look at my position as, as being like, like a castle. You know, people are going to try to invade that castle. And my job is to uh, take on all invaders. And, and that's Anthony Smith right now. Did it matter being invaded?